Hi friends, how are you? I am your new Max teacher. We are going to study Max today. We are starting our Max class today. So I hope you everyone enjoy that. We will do our best. Okay. So I am going to teach you the first chapter of your Max book that is Adding Angles. The chapter's name is Adding Angles. Did you heard about angles? Yeah, maybe so many of you must heard about angles. What is an angle? I will tell you one thing. Wherever you look, you can see angles. For example, this notebook. This notebook have angle here. Right? This notebook have angle here too. Another example. Just look this table. You can see angle here. Another example you can see on the screen that is a sandwich. Even a sandwich have an angle. For example, another example. You can see a laptop here on the screen. The laptop also have an angle when it is in the open stage. Right? So wherever you look, angles are there. So we are going to study about angles today. So what is an angle? We are going to define an angle. Simply, when you take two lines, when you take two lines and they meet at a point, then there forms an angle. That is angle. That is angle. Or when two lines meet at a point, an angle is formed. So I will show you with an example. I have two lines, two, two sticks. These are, these are two sticks. So I can imagine as two lines. So I am meeting these two lines at a point. This is the point. So here forms an angle. Here forms an angle. That is two lines are meeting at a point. Then there forms an angle. Okay, now you may have instrument box with you. Do you have that? Huh, yeah, I think you have. So you might see an object like this in your instrument box. This is a set square. Set square have three angles. They are of 60 degree, 90 degree and 30 degree. A similar one I have made here. You can see it here. 60 degree, 30 degree and 90 degree. Like this, there are many other angles. 45 degree, 45 degree, 90 degree and then you can see 40 degree, 60 degree, 80 degree. So there are many angles like this. So now we are going to study naming of angles. Usually angles are named using alphabetic letters like A, B, C, D, E, F like that. So you can see here in the figure this angle is named as angle A, B, C. This angle is named as angle A, B, C. This angle is named as D, E, F. This is angle D, E, F. Or you can say this angle is angle C, B, A or this angle is angle F, E, D. Like this you can use any alphabetic letters like P, Q, R or X, Y, Z like that. The angle is denoted with this symbol. You can see I wrote a symbol here and here. This is the symbol of angle. Now we are going to study about different types of angles. There are three different types of angles. They are perpendicular angle, obtuse angle and acute angle. You can see in the board perpendicular, obtuse and acute angle. So in the perpendicular angle, we call it perpendicular when two lines and the angle between it is 90 degree. In the case of obtuse angle, the angle is more than 90 degree. That means you can see here this angle is 90 degree and our angle is greater than 90 degree. So that comes obtuse angle. Now in the case of acute angle, the angle is less than 90 degree. You can see here this is our 90 degree. This is our 90 degree. So our angle is less than 90 degree. Then it is called acute angle. So these are the three types of angles. Perpendicular, acute and obtuse. You get it? Okay. So now friends, 
we are going to study about a new concept that is joining angles. You can see here I have wrote here joining angles. Joining angle means we are joining two angles. For example, I will show you. I have taken two stick and I meet it here and I got a small angle. I got a small angle. Now I am taking one another stick and I have joined an angle here. I am joining an angle here and I got another small angle here. So I have one angle here. I have one angle here. So two angles, two small angles and I got a big angle and I got a big angle. So now you understood that when two angles, when two angles, this is one angle, this is another angle. When two angles are added together, you get a big angle. You get a big angle. This is the smaller angle. This is another smaller angle. Now you get a big angle. Right? You get a big angle. So now I will show with this, with this chart paper. So I have taken here a 90 degree. This is angle 90 degree, this is 60, this is 30. So, this is 90 degree. So, now I am going to put a 30 degree, a 30 degree angle here. A 30 degree angle here. I am putting this here. This is a 30 degree angle. Now, I am going to put a 60 degree angle here. A 60 degree angle here. I have put a 60 degree angle here. Now what you got, the angle formed here is 90 degree. That is 60 plus 30 degree, 90 degree. Look here, we have 90 degree here. I have put 60 degree, I have put 30 degree here. So you got the sum 60 plus 30, 90 degree that you already, that is already here, 90 degree. So now I am going to show you the same concept in the black hole. Okay. Look here. This is angle A, B, C. This is angle A, B, C. That is 30 degree. That is 30 degree. Angle A, B, C is 30 degree. This is a small angle. This is a small angle. Now I have drawn here angle A, B, C. That is our 30 degree angle plus a small angle D, B, A. Angle D, B, A. That is 60 degree to the angle ABC. So now here we have two angles 30 degree and 60 degree. We have joined one more angle with the previous angle. So now look here angle ABC is 30 degree and angle ABD is 60 degree. Angle ABD is 60 degree. So we are going to add this angle and this angle. Angle A, B, C plus angle A, B, D. We are going to add these two angles and we will get a big angle that is C, B, D. Angle C, B, D. So 30 degree, 30 degree plus 60 degree. This 60 degree we got the big angle 90 degree. We got the big angle 90 degree. So this is in the concept joining angles. Okay. So now friends I am showing you some examples. So look here. This is the bigger angle that is angle DAB. DAB. That is equal to angle CAB. Angle CAB plus angle CAD. CAD. So angle CAB that is CAB is 40 degree. 40 degree plus angle 60 degree. CAD that is 60 degree. We got 40 plus 60, 100 degree. Okay, we got 100 degree. Another other example, look here, we have bigger angle PQR. We have bigger angle PQR. That is angle PQR which is equal to small angles. They are angle PQS plus angle SQR. PQS plus SQR. They are 20 degree plus 50 degree. That is 
70 degree. So these are the two examples. Now you can see, I have drawn a figure here. This is, you can see here three angles. They are, one is angle C, B, D. C, B, D, that is a small angle, 30 degree. And now another angle, A, B, D, that is 60 degree. And a big angle, that is angle A, B, C, 90 degree. So look here, angle A, B, D, 60 degree. Angle D, B, C, 30 degree. Angle A, B, C, 90 degree. Okay. So C, angle A, B, C, that is the bigger angle. That is the bigger angle. Angle A, B, C. I am taking an angle A, B, D. I am taking this a, B, D angle that is 60 degree angle. I am taking this 60 degree angle from angle A, B, C. That is I am taking 60 degree angle from the bigger angle 90 degree. So what will you get? There is just one angle left here that is D, B, C. So I am subtracting a small angle A, B, D that is 60 degree from big angle ABC that is 90 degree so you get a another small angle DBC 30 degree C 90 degree minus 60 degree you got 30 degree likewise you can say another thing that is from angle ABC that is a larger angle you can subtract a small angle DBC so you will subtract 30 degree from the bigger angle ABC 90 degree. So 90 degree minus 30 degree you will get this angle 60 degree. Now I am showing an other example. Look we have the figure angle ABC the bigger angle angle ABD and DBC are small angles. So now and we want to find angle DBC. We want to find angle DBC. This angle. We want to find this angle. So this angle is when we minus this small angle from this big angle. So we are going to minus this small angle from this big angle. So the big angle is angle ABC minus this small angle, angle ABD. That is the big angle is 80 degree, 80 degree minus the small angle 50 degree, 50 degree we got 30 degree. 80 minus 50 is 30 degree. And now another example. You can see a big angle PQR. PQR and small angles PQS and SQR. PQS and SQR. Here you want to find this angle that is PQS. You want to find angle PQS. PQS. That is equal to angle PQR that is the big angle minus angle SQR the small angle. We have the big angle 120 degree minus 45 degree. You will get 75 degree. This is the second example. So friends this is for today. So I hope you all understood the concept. What did we study today? We talked about angles, different types of angles, naming of angles, joining of angles and subtracting of angles. I hope you understood. If you have any problem, any difficulty to understand, then you can contact me through WhatsApp. So and I will be giving some activities for you. You need to send it, send it to me. Okay. Bye bye.